Good day everyone. In this video, I will be discussing the last type of cloud service models or the third layer of cloud computing, which is SaaS or also known as software as a service. Software as a service is also known as on-demand software. It is a software distribution model in which services are hosted by a cloud service provider. And these services are available to end users over the internet. So the end users do not need to install any software on their devices to access these services. Examples of software as a service are the applications provided by Google Cloud that we commonly use for communications or documentations, such as Google Docs, Google Slides, Gmail, and many more. So here are the services provided by SaaS providers such as business services, document management, social networks, and mail services. First, business services. The SaaS business services include ERP or enterprise resource planning and CRM or customer relationship management, billing, and sales. Okay, so when we purchase cloud services in terms of business, they already provide us the ERP and CRM, which are very helpful in implementing the business, making it known to the public and possibly reach target sales. Second is document management. SaaS document management is a software application offered by a third party in SaaS providers to create, manage, and track electronic documents. So in Google Cloud, these services are free as we use them for documentations like Google Docs, Google Survey, and even Google Slides. And third is social networks. As we all know, social networking sites are used by the public. So social networking services, okay, with or are being used okay, as a software, as a service for their convenience and handle the general public's information. So examples of this are Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, which uses SaaS to handle the services or uses the SaaS model okay, to handle the services. And we have here mail services. So to handle the unpredictable number of users and load on email services, many email providers offering their services using the SaaS model, okay, such as the Gmail. And now let's have the advantages of SaaS cloud computing layer. First, SaaS is easy to buy. So SaaS pricing is based on a monthly free or annual fee subscription. So it allows organizations to access businesses functionality at a low cost, which is less than licensed applications. So unlike traditional software, which is sold as a license based with an upfront cost, right? And often an optional ongoing support fee or maintenance fee like that. So SaaS providers are generally pricing the applications using a subscription fee, most commonly a monthly or annually fee. So all you have to do is register an account and have to pay services until you reach right, the free time limit services because all of those have free trial services. And if you wanted a service, then you can avail for a premium account. Okay, but in Google Cloud, there are a lot of SaaS applications which is taste free. Okay, and second, it is one to many. SaaS services are offered as one to many model, means a single instance of the application is shared by multiple users. Third, less hardware required for SaaS. So the software is hosted remotely. So organizations or users do not need to invest in additional hardware. Fourth, 
low maintenance required for SaaS. Software as a service removes the need for installation, setup, and daily maintenance for the organizations or any users. For the public users for Google Cloud, okay, the initial setup cost for SaaS is typically less than enterprise software. Okay, so it, the, the cost is lower compared to traditional one. Okay, and SaaS vendors are pricing their applications based on some usage parameters, such as several users using the application. So SaaS does easy to monitor and automatic updates. Okay, and fifth, no special software or hardware versions required. All users will have the same version of the software and typically access it through the web browser. And SaaS reduces IT support cost by outsourcing hardware and software maintenance and support to the IAAS or infrastructure providers. And six, multi-device support. SaaS services can be accessed from any device such as desktop, laptops, tablets, phones, and others anywhere as long as you have an internet connection. And seven, no client side installation. So this is the best one. All of these are best advantages of SaaS. Okay, SaaS services are accessed directly from the service provider using the internet connection. So we do not need to require any software installation. So this is the good one here on cloud, even though we don't have the uh, installer, we don't need it actually because they provide it online as long as we have an internet connection. And we have here the disadvantages of SaaS cloud computing layer. First, security. Data is stored in the cloud. So security may be an issue for some users. However, cloud computing is not more secure than in-house development. So again, be wise when using cloud computing services. Second, latency issue. Since data and applications are stored in the cloud at a variable distance from the end user, there is a possibility that there may be greater latency when interacting with the application compared to local deployment. So therefore, the SaaS model is not suitable for applications whose demand response time in milliseconds. So like for example, editing tools like image or video editing tools. So you try to observe then which among the cloud or the local or grid computing is best to use. And third, total dependency on internet. Without an internet connection, we cannot or we are not able to use the applications. And fourth, switching between SaaS vendors is difficult. Switching SaaS vendors involves the difficult and the slow task of transferring the very large data files over the internet and then converting it and importing them into another SaaS vendor. So better stick to your ideal SaaS provider to avoid complexity or difficulties in transferring your files. Okay, so these are the popular SaaS providers. We have here Salesforce.com, Workday Incorporated, NetSuite, Oracle CRM, Constant contact, go to netting. Of course, the most popular for us, the Microsoft Office 365 and the Google Apps. Okay, and this would be the last part okay, for our discussion in the three types of cloud service models or the three layers of cloud computing. So I hope that you have learned a lot for future use. Okay. So thank you and God bless everyone.